Hello everyone, today we're gonna embark on an adventure shave with the Shire by House of Mammoth. I'm excited to try this set, it was staying in my den for a little while. Um, I was a big Tolkien, Lord of the Rings, Hobbit fan during my teenage years and this set is inspired by The Hobbit, uh, more specifically inspired by the moment when Bilbo Baggins met Gandalf and Gandalf invited him for an adventure. So let's dive into the scent notes of this one. Ah, it is very interesting and unique. I remember the first time when I smelled it. The, the notes that I get, they're a little bit of foresty elements, probably grass or kind of like green. Uh, I get a little bit of spice, but also some sweetness that uh, for me it's a little bit floral and fruity, but if I think about it and reading about the story uh, for the inspiration uh, when they created this uh, set, is when Bilbo Baggins was smoking his pipe. So I get this that probably is bringing that sweet tobacco smell for a pipe. And I have here the notes uh, for the scents and they are violet, fresh air, vetiver, spice and tobacco. So yeah, all this mix brings that really nice smell here. It's very distinct and unique and uh, yeah, there is something, something woody as well, but let's see how it goes when we lather it up. I have the full set here with me, the splash and the balm are also here. So yeah, that was an adventure to get it here in Canada. Most of the, I think all of the retailers at the time when I was trying to get the set, uh, in Canada they had the soap and the balm sold out uh, and also the splash was not available anywhere. Um, and all the retailers that had it in the US, they didn't ship alcohol splashes to Canada. So that was a little bit of a uh, kind of like exploration, uh, search for the splash. And finally I found the splash available online here and I was able to uh, order from the US the balm and the soap. And I have the full set here. Today I'm gonna use my AKA Brushworks brush that was gifted to me by my friend Carlos. This is with the G5C synthetic knot. So let's put some water in the brush. No need to soak it, synthetic brushes. Just need a little bit of water. And they're ready to go. Nice squeeze. Just shake it after that for the excess water. And here I have the soap already prepared and a little bit of water in my spot prints 3D printed bowl. And let's start the lathering together. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I do wonder the scent knows fresh air. Uh, what is it exactly as an isolated note? I was surprised when I was checking it, uh, but probably brings that uh, sweetness and pleasant aroma that I get and it's maybe adding to that fruitiness, you know, pairing well with the violets. I added a decent amount of soap, um, like a half almond seed. So let's add some water, it's getting creamy and nice. If you don't have a sprayer, I find it very convenient to regulate the amount of water that you add to your soap. Yeah, the scent notes are staying pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. Nice and pleasant. The 
whether he's trying to escape. You see there is plenty, already getting creamy and yogurty, which is something that I like. Just to scoop some of the leather outside. Mm. Mm, the spices now, as I add more water and I whip it, the spiciness is a bit more forward, which brings that association with tobacco smell for me. Yeah, really nice. Mm -hmm. Very pleasant. Okay, the ladder is good. I'm gonna prepare the face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so good. It smells really nice. It feels slick already when I was touching it with my hand to scoop and put into the bowl. Nice slickness. A lot of my friends in in Europe uh, from the Bulgarian shaving community they they like uh, House of Mammoth and they they always share good things about it. So finally, I will shave with my first set by them. Today I was in the mood for a milder shave and I was considering should I use my Hansen or one of the lower plates of my Rockwell, but my eyes uh, spotted the slock. We already did a review of it. I had only one shave for that review. And this is a really mild, uh, very smooth razor. So this kind of like fits the bill. And I decided, oh, I'll go with it. Um, I loaded Gillette Platinum Blade. I think it's the third or fourth use, I'm not sure, I lost count of it, but it should be good. They usually uh, perform quite well for me up until the fifth shave. Almost forgot the water. As the ladder stays on my face, it really feels like I'm smelling some tobacco from a pipe. And it feels less, less sweeter compared to uh, smelling the actual ladder or the soap in the container. Really good residual thickness. Mm -hmm. It's another rainy day here in British Columbia. So it seems to be quite a pattern when I record my shaves. Usually it rains, despite the good weather that we had over the last. Uh, few days, we've had really nice weather. Me and my son spend a lot of time outside. Just really good. The slickness of the double um, open comb, uh, in combination with the uh, slickness of the soap itself, it's just <laughs> gliding so well. Did any of you guys try uh, 
some of the other HOM sets or this one? How do you find it? One thing that it's annoying as I mentioned from a customer perspective is if there is a set that you like and you like the description or you smell the sample of and you want to get with the splash in Canada I see uh, most of their sets the splashes are gone and whoever has them in the US they don't ship so that's annoying I don't know who can s help sorting this out but yeah just hard to get in Canada Without exaggerating, for this set it took me probably almost a um, month and a half, two months to keep a knife. Someone who is selling it in, in Canada will have it in stock. Yeah, really good residual thickness left. And with that razor, it's really smooth. <coughs> Just to water the face a bit. <coughs> yeah, look at the ladder. Plenty, plenty of ladder here. Just put a lighter coating. Yeah, it's very, very nice. Look at the peaks. Really good. Nice soap base. I have a little bit of cold, and I don't know if this is affecting how I smell. The, the soap, but I wish now that the smell is a bit stronger because my nose is getting used to it and especially as sitting on my face um, I just kind of like get really used to the smell and I wouldn't mind if it's a little bit stronger mm, yeah, yeah, mm. so good, the smell is nice Have to shake the razor a bit more, it's holding a lot of water. <laughs> so the leather drips quite easily from it. It really highlights why it's gliding so well. And even though it's double open comb, it's really mild. So if any of you um, are intimidated by the teeth here on the comb, don't be. It's also a very cheap razor.
I'm enjoying the audio feedback from it as well. <laughs> A lot of sleekness, a lot of sleekness, yeah, that's good. And today I'm trying something different, you see I'm no longer rinsing my face between the passes. I just feel that there is already uh, a lot of hydration uh, in the ladder itself. The face, uh, after two passes, especially with good soap, feels slick and hydrated. Um, so instead of washing that all away, uh, I'm just putting the ladder right on the face and it seems to be working fine so far and with this razor as I mentioned when I was reviewing it light coating is really really what you need also it feels that the soap can take a little bit more water Let's do some ladder check as well over here. Look at this. So good. I'm beating the brush. Just to add some water on the face. <clears throat> Oh, I forgot to mention, my wife helped me with the new logo of the channel, as you can see. I'm sure that by the time that this video is uploaded, I'll have it already placed. So let me know what you think. I think that it's pretty nice. I appreciate that she, she spent the time to uh, go over a couple of iterations and discuss with me all my weird requests <laughs> let me know how you feel about the logo i'm usually not uploading my videos right away so you will be able to see it Yeah, as the shave continues, back to the notes of the soap, the scent notes. That spiciness is more and more present. Almost bringing uh, a smoky smell, which is really good. I like it. Yeah, the audio feedback of this razor is very distinct. So much slickness. With all the water and the slick soap. Very good. Excellent! I'm gonna rinse and we're gonna move to the post shave. Alright, time for the alum block. Let's add some cold water to the alum. Just a tiny tingle for half second on one spot down there. And that's pretty much it so far. Yeah. It's a really good tool to, aside that it's good for the skin, closing the pores and sanitizing, I think. Um, it's a really good tool to uh, help you understand if you overdid some areas. I know a few locations I 
We tend to do a lot of corrections or buffing with the razor so I can cover all the weird growth of my hair. So the alum is an excellent tool, at least I like it. I just get it as something that helps me evaluate how I did during my shave. Okay, rinse the face with cold water. Ooh, that's so refreshing. I didn't sleep well last night, <clears throat> so that shape is boosting the energy levels right now. Okay, so time for the splash. We're gonna open it for the first time together. Pretty cool signature label with the mammut in the front and all the skin food goodness floating around after we shake. Always shake your aftershave splash. The artisans are putting a lot of good ingredients for your skin, but if you don't shake it, when you place it, you will miss out on them. So, let's see. Mm. I guess here the, I get mainly the violets and that fresh air <laughs> scent note. It's mentioned. Not much of the spice and the tobacco, at least for my nose. Yeah, it's very pleasant and somehow citrusy. I don't know if that's correct. Maybe my nose is weird, but yeah, let's see. <clears throat> oh, yeah. When I rub it on the skin, now I get everything. Still more of the fresh floral elements are forward. Oh, nice cooling effect. Very pleasant. And gentle burn. Because <clears throat> this one is alcohol based splash, as I mentioned. That's why it's hard to get in Canada. We will allow it to soak to the skin for a few seconds and we'll move to the balm. Okay, I allowed the splash to stay on my face for about a minute. It's very pleasant, the cooling effect and the slight burn intensified a little bit. And regarding the smell, I slowly started getting more of that spice and the tobacco, so everything is really nicely mixed. Mm, it's good, it's really good. Yeah, it's really uh, matching that explanation. Um, for the storytelling element that is inspiring this set with the tobacco smell from Bilbo's pipe. This is the balm over here. I heard a lot of good things from my buddies, as I mentioned, for HOM balms. So let's see. Shake it well for the same reason. <clears throat> Okay, let's give it a chance. Ooh, okay. Now it started. Here we are. Ooh, that's that's splashing. Okay. <laughs> Created quite a bit of mess over here. It's coming out on a very very pressured way. Okay. So generous amount as you can see. So be careful. I don't know if that's my my bottle only or not, but yeah, the first one was surprise, splash. Yeah, same same smell. Ooh, nice and sleek. I guess I added generous amount as you can see, but all that is good because it will be soft by my skin. Hmm, very slick. Really nice. Very pleasant after the splash. Hmm, and slightly more earthy smell to it. Yeah, earthy and kind of like smell of a cream, of a clean cream as well. It's, I get this something new, this one. Aside from the overall notes that are present in the set. Really good. 
excellent, excellent end to the shape. Today we went over the shire, the entire set, splash the baum. I used my AKA G5C knot, a nice gift from my friend Carlos. Used my bow by Spot Prints, the 3D printed one. <coughs> and for the razor, we had Razor Rocks Lock returning for one more shape in the channel. That's everything for today. Thanks for staying until the end. Stay safe and well, and I'll see you in another one. Take care.